efficiency is currently a key issue for car makers. But fuel saving models can't get the job done on their own. Even the best technology is useless if the driver doesn't do their part to conserve fuel. Ford has fuel efficient engines in its lineup. In an event known as EcoDrive, Ford is showing drivers simple tricks to exploit the potential of their engines and significantly improve their fuel consumption rates. After a brief introduction, the participants begin the first round. The test car is the Ford Focus Econetic. Ford's Volker I says that while Ford offers technology, it's useless unless a driver adjusts their habits and adopts a fuel-efficient driving style. Otherwise, the technology is simply overrided by the driver. If you always drive at full throttle in the wrong gear, even the best technology can't help. In the second round, a fuel-saving coach is in the passenger seat offering tips. He quickly recognizes habits that gobble up a lot of fuel in everyday life. Ulf Schinke tells the driver that he's too close to the car in front, allowing the other car to dictate his driving style. Leaving more room lets you drive more freely. Leaving such a wide gap may feel strange at first, but 15 meters minimum is the law, says Schinke. He recommends 20 meters for more control. He tells his driver to take his foot off the gas. The car ahead of him is turning the corner. Schinke tells the driver to go down a gear, but not to stop. If you were closer, he says, you would have to stop. Instead, you can just continue to roll using less energy. Wenn der Wagen startet, braucht er die meiste Energie. Wenn wir weiter rollen können, brauchen wir wenig Energie. Downshifting too soon is another common habit that costs momentum and energy. In general, experts like Ralf Schinke, a fuel efficient trainer, recommend upshifting early to reach the speed you want to drive as quickly as possible. He says you can then use the car's own momentum, letting the car roll, taking your foot off the gas, or going out of gear. Schinke also recommends modern vehicles that turn off the engine automatically when you don't need it. Andreas Burkert says the training with the experts was worth it. Before the class, he says, he was using five and a half liters per 100 kilometers. Not bad, he says. But afterwards, he got down to 4.9 liters. And over the course of a year, it's about 130 euros in fuel savings. With diesel, he says. The final result is surprising. Thanks to the fuel efficiency training, the team reduced their fuel usage by 32 percent. A boon for the environment and for their wallets. Techniques like these can be used with any vehicle, and taking your foot off the gas doesn't just lead to fuel savings, it's a big win for road safety too.